camera tonight because it's actually a video I'm doing at night because it's dark outside. I'm going to show you how I am doing my, my grow light setup for the 2022 gardening season. lights from Amazon and it came with zip ties just the wires all the screws and then the lights Each and every on and off switch. So I figured out how these lights work. It took me a minute. It comes with these. And I don't know what this is supposed to do or be a part of, so I have no idea. These are the lights the LED lights and they come with screws if you I guess you want to screw it on a wall but I don't need these but they all come with these little packets and I don't know what this is or this but they come with two of these so then I figured out that you can clip them onto the light like this and like this on the side so they do give you these zip ties so what I'm gonna do is just gonna use the zip ties like that and put it over this way Hopefully they stay and they work doing the zip ties. Now let's turn them on and see how they look. I have a little switch. Ooh. I 
see that's pretty bright. Well, I never had grow lights before, because I've always grown either just in the soil or by the windowsill, and it's worked for me. But since I'm growing more food than ever before, uh, I hope that this is successful. But it looks so good. And these, and it comes with these, which I guess I can connect all of them. When I turn just one switch on, they will all turn on. Well, these LEDs are pretty bright. I know you can just go to any store and, and buy them, but I just got these from, from Amazon and see how they do. And I'll definitely keep you updated with all my starter plants all the seeds that I'm starting and how they grow with these lights. I'm gonna go ahead and finish hanging up all these lights and my setup will be done. Okay, so what I did to connect all of them is use these wires. Use these wires that it came with and I just connected each one from here, here. So each one is connected together. And on the other side, this one is connected to the wall. And so since this one from that side is connected to this one, I just went ahead and connected this one from here, connected this one to this one, and connected this one to this one. So let's see if I turn on and they all turn on. Oh, looks like they do. Perfect. So these only came with eight lights, so I stopped right there. I still have another one to put if I do buy another set. So that's how my grow lights look. Looks pretty good, looks simple. I really don't know what this is for. If anybody figures this out for me, I don't really know. I tried to figure out why that came in the box, but I just kind of made up my own way as I see. This seems a little bit simpler to do. So they kind of slip a little bit. Hopefully they stay. So, looks nice. Looks kind of crooked in some of them, but other than that, I would say it looks pretty good. Simple setup for growing some food while I wait for my greenhouse to be built. Now, after I put zip ties, I still have a few more left. My husband has a bunch of zip ties anyways in the garage, so if I need more, I can just steal from him, but at least they give you a good enough amount that you'll have extra. So, not bad for Amazon the grow lights. Hopefully, they help me grow some food. I'm so happy to have a grow light station. It's about 10 o'clock at night. It's been a long day. I didn't get to do half the things I wanted to do, but at least I got my grow light shelf up. At least I can show you what I'm using to start my seeds indoors. Now, I do have a greenhouse that I bought. I got it for my birthday and it's a 10 by 12 greenhouse from Harbor Freight. I'm so excited to have it. I just can't build it right now because I have to build a deck. Well, I'm deciding to build a deck to put the greenhouse on top of it. Uh, for some structure uh, and I can't build that right now with the time 
uh, that I don't have. <laughs> my husband hopefully will be here soon um, and he will build that for me. So that will be in a box in the garage for now. And um, at least I can have some grow lights to start my vegetables for the spring and summer. I also got this heat pad, heat mat from Amazon. Everything is from Amazon just because it's just so much easier to get. I got my shelves at Home Depot, I think, or Lowe's, one of those. And then I got my grow lights from Amazon. So I got my grow lights from Amazon. I got this heating mat on Amazon. I'm gonna buy more mats. I just wanna buy like an extra large mat that I've seen on Amazon that comes with two. It's a little bit more expensive because it comes with two and it's bigger, but I think this will do. I've actually grown on a heating pad. You know, those heating pads that you put on your back. <laughs> I've used that when I was in Washington. Actually, it worked as a charm. I just took out the fabric of the heat pad and I just used it so tip for people who are frugal you can use the heat pad just be careful obviously uh, it's not burned down anything but it worked well for me so I decided I should just spend some money on uh, an investment and buy actual heating heating pads so I bought that and it comes with a thermostat heat mat so that's what that comes with and it comes with a little bag so you can store it if you need it i also bought a surge protector power strip with digital timer i'm going to connect this to the grow lights and it's cool because it has multiple outlets uh, plug-in switches and then you can time it of when to turn on and off you at least need you know your ceilings to have like 14 to 16 hours a day uh, i'm just gonna probably turn them on like maybe four in the morning ish and then have them turn off by like 8 p.m just so it won't be on at night this is in my living room <laughs> so we don't have a couch or a tv here or anything like that so that's what's gonna be in my living room for now until we get a couch uh, everything's still in Washington, so for now I will just be looking at my plants. <laughs> so, and of course I got these little labels, and I have the black seed tray, and I'm using soil blocks. Uh, I have a big box that I haven't really opened, and it's the big uh, two-inch soil block um, mechanism that you use. I don't know what it's called. It's, um, it's late, and I don't. <laughs> I can't even think. But um, it's late for me, if, if anything. But I'm going to use soil blocking uh, to uh, plant all my seeds in. This, hopefully, that's enough. I mean, I don't know what else I'm missing. All, I'm, I mean, I got all the things I needed. All well, kind of. All the things I needed to make the soil blocks. And so I'm going to do that tomorrow. And hopefully that works. It's my first time using soil blocks, so I'm excited try something new I just want to reduce my plastic use uh, I, I've grown with the with the plastic uh, before uh, for my seeds but this year I want to try something different like I'm trying grow lights which is different and all these things uh, that I found on Amazon so I think shelving with zip ties and, and any LED lights that to be super expensive is a great way and an expensive way to to grow food inside so at least indoor seed starting so hopefully this growing season will be a good one i have growing lights now so i think everything has a shot of germinating and hopefully soon i can just move everything to my greenhouse that's what i that's the ultimate goal is to start growing in my greenhouse and bringing in plants that um, need to be inside the greenhouse when it's cold. So right now it's cold. It's like 40 degrees today during the day and looking at the weather next week, it's gonna be, there's actually like 20s. I mean, and that's pretty cold for Central Florida. So and like plants like these have the Meyer lemon tree in my house because it's too cold. And so hopefully when I get my greenhouse, 
can put things like that in and so they will be protected but yeah i think we're all going to be ready and uh, wanting to grow as much food as possible so it's going to be exciting and i can't wait to grow along with you if you're growing something just wanted to show you my setup and um when i start seeds then we really see how this baby's gonna work so i hope you guys are doing well and happy gardening to everybody out there please let me know what growing zone you are i'm growing in zone 9a in central florida and uh, my new growing zone i came from zone eight in uh, washington which didn't really feel like zone eight because it was so cold we were up up tippy top in washington state but now that i'm in florida central florida i feel like i am a whole new gardener because it's a whole new climate and i'm kind of just learning as i go and I'll see you guys in the next video stay well friends mm -hmm.